Shalom, sister. Shalom, shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all honor and glory praises to Yahweh by Hashem and Masha, I'm like Shai. And I just wanted to come on here and do a quick exhortation through the spirit um, just to exhort my sisters, just to keep enduring, you know, the most high sees your work and he's not um, unfaithful to forget your work of labor. The most high sees everything you does and you will. It's like he sees everything you does and he will give you a reward. You know, the most high is not a man that he should lie. That's Numbers 23 and 19. The most high said that, you know, he'd reward us, you know, but we got to keep enduring. We can't faint. So I just wanted to come on here and encourage sisters to not faint. I was reading the book of Second Chronicles today at work, and that's what put this on my spirit. Um, so we're just going to get right into it. Second Chronicles 15 and 7. Be strong, therefore, and let not your hands be weak, for your work shall be rewarded. And let me show you what that says in a different translation. Because it's basically telling us not to give up, not to faint, right? This is verse 7 in the NIV version, and it says, But as for you, be strong and do not give up, for your work will be rewarded. So... This precept is basically telling us we're going to be rewarded. Don't give up. Don't faint. You know, some days we may not feel like reading. We might not feel like cleaning the house. You might not feel like dealing with your with your husband. You might not feel like dealing with um whatever you have to go, whatever you have going on. That's just that's just this flesh. That's just the spiritual demon saying. You know, Satan just does everything he can to get us to not go as hard for you. Have Satan is doing everything he can to get us to not want to do the works. You know, so we all have those days in this flesh where Satan, just be honest, we just don't feel like being bothered. We don't feel like doing it. We just want to give up. You know. Um, if a sister says she never had a plague of mine from saying she's lying, you know, I know people, and including myself, saying hop on me and give me those thoughts or just give up. Just forsake this truth. Just kill yourself off it. Satan really have you with those thoughts. And people be lying if they said they never struggled with those thoughts of giving up. Satan attacks all of us. Satan, has, Satan hops on all of us. So we might have those moments where Satan hopping on us telling us give up. You know, just give up. Just, just go back to the world. Forget this truth. Forget your husband. Forget your kids. Leave everybody. Power your phone off. Change your name back to Bree Bree. <laughs> you know, like, <laughs> Satan, he'll have your mind like that and have it real convincing. But we got to come to these precepts and be girded up through the power of the Spirit. Have our shot and wear, that whole, the, wear the whole arm of the Most High and not give into Satan's lies. The scriptures tell us to not give up and our works will be rewarded. So just keep going, sis. Don't give up. Do not give up. Um, let's get Galatians 6 and 9. We're just going to use this app since we're already on it. So Galatians 6 and 9. It reads the classic, and let us not be weary in well doing, for in due season we shall reap if we faint not. So, in due season, we're going to get our rewards. It's in due season, we're going to get, you know, we're going to see our fruit producing. You know, in due season, you're going to get that thing that you've been working so hard for, but you can't faint. In order to, you know, think about runners when they, how do they get their trophy? Well, they have to cross the finish line first, right? So, if we're trying to get our trophy, we're trying to get our reward, we have to cross that finish line, you know? So, just keep going, sis. You know, whatever you're dealing with, whatever you have going on keep going in due season you're gonna reap that reward in due season you're gonna see your fruit producing in due season that demon that you've been fasting and rebuking we're fasting on and rebuking and cutting them precepts on in due season it'll leave lord willing in due season the things that you have been putting all your work in so hard to, to get to it's gonna it's gonna be manifested right in front of your eyes if you keep enduring enduring and if you don't faint right so um and I have two more, and this is Hebrews 6 and 10, and it reads, For Yahweh is not unrighteous to forget your work and labor of love, which you have showed toward his name, and that ye have ministered to the saints and do minister. So the Most High is not unrighteous to forget our labor of love. No, the Most High is not unrighteous to forget our works. He sees everything. He sees all our works. The Most High sees every single thing and knows every single thing and hears everything. The Most High see how hard you're going behind closed doors. And he see how slothful you're being behind closed doors. The Most High see how hard you're going on the camera and off the camera. The Most High see how slothful you're being off the camera, but you're being zealous on the camera. You know, you can't be portraying yourself to be a diligent sister unto others, but then behind closed doors, you, you're, you're, you're slacking. You know, it's just a front, you know, but the most like he sees it all. But that labor that you're doing behind closed doors as well, if that doesn't go unnoticed by Yahweh Hashem, the most high sees the work you're putting in when you're tired. The most high see the work you're putting in when you've dealt with your kids all day, you've attended to your husband, and you're just real tired. You wore out. The most high sees that when you keep pushing. The most high sees you keep enduring. He sees all of that. When you feel like giving up, when you're tired, when you had a long day, when you're not feeling good, when we went, we, we're in this flesh, all of these things are going to happen. But when you keep, the most high sees that. He sees all of your labor, sis. And then I wanted to get Revelation 22 and 12, and it reads, 
And behold, I come quickly and my reward is with me to give every man according to his work shall be. You know, so what does that say in a different translation? It says, <clears throat> look, I am coming soon. My reward is with me and I will give to each person according to what they have done. So how your reward look is going to look how your works look. And that's playing upon tables, right? How your reward look is going to be based upon your works you put in. Right, so I just want to come on here real quick and just encourage sisters to just keep enduring and keep going because the Most High sees it all. Don't be faint. Don't give up. There's something greater ahead. The kingdom of heaven is ahead. Well, my 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 head was asking me last night, what's the what excites you the most about the kingdom? And I said, never having to fight a demon again in my life. And that is what excites me the most. Never ever having to cry again. Never having to fight a demon again. Never having to rebuke Satan. Never having to do none of that again. Never, ever, ever having to fight another demon in my life again is what excites me most about the kingdom. So just be kingdom minded. Focus on the kingdom. We have so much ahead for us coming. We'll never have to cry again. We'll never have to be in pain again. Our feet will never hurt again. We're going to be in perfect, immortal bodies. Satan ain't going to be able to tempt us no more. We ain't going to be in the flesh no more. We ain't going to have a plague of mind no more. We ain't going to be below society no more. We're going to be in rulership again. You know, it's just, it's just going to be beautiful. Revelation speaks about the kingdom being like gold. Like, it's going to be beautiful. It's going to be streets of gold in the kingdom. You know, we're never going to have to worry about none of this again. So just focus on that. Focus on the beautiful things to come and stop focusing so much on the what what's so called what's what's bad what's going wrong in our lives but focus on what's going good in our lives you know see the um there's always a lesson in the in the storm there's always light in the dark tunnel find that light in the in that time of adversity find that lesson in the time of adversity and have a change of perspective and keep pushing because there's something greater ahead. and if you want your reward and you got to cross that finish line but the scriptures tell us we're going to reap if we don't faint so if you're trying to reap if you're trying to get that thing that you've been working so hard for if you're trying to uh, get that trophy if you're trying to get the everlasting life then you can't faint as hard as it get we in this flesh, Satan doing everything he can to sift us out. We got to stay strong and remember that we can do all things through Yahweh Shem HaShawah strengthens us. Our strength is not of us. You know, we can't do nothing without the Most High. John 15 and 5 say, without me, you can do nothing. So everything that we ever endured through, that we ever got through, was because Yahweh Shem HaShawah has strength inside of us. Right? And we need the Most High in his strength. So with the Most High strength, we can do anything. We don't even know our own strength through the Spirit. All of our strength comes from the Most High. So I just want to encourage sisters to keep enduring. I love y'all. Call a how about Shem? Why should I like how shy? Stay strong, sisters. Don't give up. You will get rewarded. Keep putting in that work behind closed doors. Do not give up. You know, get your mind right. It takes the right mindset. You know, but with the Most High on our side, with the help of the Lord, we can do this. I love y'all. Call a how about Shem? Why should I like how shy? Shalom.